We're now about a day removed since the Combat Pack 3 news dropped and pretty much broke the internet, but what if I told you that shortly after that leak came out, Netherum Studios gave a, uh, I guess you could say a response of some kind, saying that, well, MK1's here, at least for a few more months. What's up? It's your boy Dynasty. Happy Thanksgiving. Gonna try to piece this video together really quickly because I know you guys probably don't got much time if you're, uh, you know, trying to eat that turkey today. But funny enough, in the midst of me editing my video yesterday, which you should watch because in case you missed it, um, Jade, Sonya Blade, a guest character along with Kano, Kung Jin, and Cassie Cage are allegedly scrapped and at one point in time, we're going to be our Combat Pack 3 DLC along with a story expansion. This comes from Fate Unknown, the leaker who has never been wrong again. It's out there. I've made videos on this all week long. Cards on the screen right now. And though the statement I'm about to share with you guys isn't really a direct statement in response, acknowledging like, hey, we've seen the reports. That's false. They subtly pretty much give some hope for you guys who love Mortal Kombat 1 and were bummed to hear the news that this game would probably not be supported outside of the remaining two Combat Pack 2 DLC characters, Conan the Barbarian, Team 1000, and maybe a few cameo fighters dropping probably around March or April. So before we talk about all this, if you could do your boy a solid, it takes you a second, please drop a like on it. I say it all the time because it's true without you. These MK1 videos don't happen, so hey, if you think that you're having a bad day, just know that Dynasty loves you. But I hope you're not. I hope you're uh, you're feasting with the family, and this will kind of cheer you up again if you're kind of bummed about the idea that this game is pretty much dead in water. So with that said, what the hell's going on? So maybe I should just show you the trailer they dropped. Should I show you the trailer? Let me just show you this trailer they dropped at 11 o'clock yesterday, a mere two hours after Fate Unknown's final statement was made. Mortal Kombat time, baby! Would you like to play a game? <laughs> Was that what you were expecting? Now, it's kind of funny because they decided to drop that hours after Fate Unknown's final statement post on the Mortal Kombat leak subreddit. If I'm not mistaken, season one for Pro Comp MK1 ended May or so of this year. So they haven't given any updates at all that there would even be a season two and continued support for the pro scene moving into 2025. And funny enough, they decided to drop this trailer, letting you know that 2025 MK1 will be around up until at least February 22nd and 23rd because that event is taking place in Mexico City. So yeah, they decided to finally, after months of keeping the pro seat in disarray and silence to answer that question, the day the biggest leak in a year for the game dropped. So. I think that was Netherrealm WB's way of winking their eye at us to be like, hey, we're still supporting even the pro scene. <coughs> never say never, the game ain't dead. Um, funny enough, the top response is, I believe from the Thinny saying, read the room. And I think this is them reading the room and giving a response the best way they could because I doubt they're gonna acknowledge this leak. There is no way they're gonna acknowledge this leak. Fate Unknown's been a PR nightmare for WB for a minute because he's been leaking everything relentlessly since before the game dropped. So in my opinion, this is probably the closest thing you'll get to a direct response. And it's them saying, we're gonna be here in 2025. Now, obviously, like I mentioned earlier, we still got T-1000, we still got Conan the Barbarian. Conan should be dropping around the middle of January. T-1000, I'd assume, would be dropping around the middle or beginning of March. This taking place middle of February, so it kind of lines up just right. Would be shocked if they didn't use this platform to actually advertise and market the upcoming final combat pack DLC character and maybe even promote the upcoming hypothetical Cameo Fighter Pack. We have confirmation from Fate Unknown 
We should be expecting maybe, if anything else, after the KP2 DLC, a few more cameo fighters. And I think that's probably going to happen. And I think here will probably be when it's showcased. So, funny enough, that's probably the best statement you'll get indirectly. And shortly after that, they went on to promote the Black Friday sale for Chaos Reigns, which is, again, just so fitting given that hours before this, we got confirmation that the reason why we're not getting a KP3 DLC is because this did not sell. And now they're just pushing it. Across all consoles, there's 50 to 60% off on the DLC that dropped about, what, two months ago? Woo! Now, <laughs> if they're going to be bringing back Season 2 with the Pro Competition, safe to say that this is probably going to happen. If you remember, May of this year, Ed Boon came out and said, For previous NetherRealm games, MKX and Justice 2, we've made custom skins and shaders to support the prize pools of tournament esports and community events. MKX had Crimson Ermac and Blue Steel Sub-Zero. If we were to have a Mortal Kombat 1 Pro Competition Season 2, would you like to see us release costumes, shaders, to support prize pools for it? And overwhelmingly of 90%, yes, people want to see some of these exclusive skins because people just want some more content in this game. They want some more skins, not just shaders and palettes. So, Again, Season 2's probably been in the works since Season 1 ended back in May of this year, but to announce that, conveniently, the same day the biggest leak in a year happens, I don't think that's a coincidence. Again, Fate Unknown also confirmed probably a few more cameo fighters. Ed Boon at San Diego Comic Con confirmed more than likely some more cameo fighters. They talked about this in August of this year in a meeting with the design team. He threw together ideas for MK1 Year 2, Cameo Fighters. Some names that came up included Blanche, Kid Thunder, Invincible, and Chucky. Who would you like to see the most? Invincible won. A guest character, Fate Unknown confirmed there was going to be one guest character in the Combat Pack 3 DLC before it was scrapped. Chucky's also listed there. I've been clamoring for a Chucky cameo fighter for a long time. Chucky works because you have Farah. Size is not an issue. It makes it so much easier to make Chucky an assist fighter instead of a fully fledged out playable main roster character. So those are two guests and this was August. Ed Boone talking about KP2 cameo fighters. It's gonna happen. And again, I do think the Pro Comp in February, Mexico City, that'll probably win when we get these final cameo fighters and that'll be probably the farewell and send off to mortal kombat 1 so yeah there is your update this is the response we got from netherum studios that they're gonna have a pro comp season 2 taking place february of 2025 you'll probably get a teaser for the upcoming cameo fighters to seal the deal with this game's content maybe plans change and these black friday sells uh save combat pack 3 because apparently the studio wanted to make it really bad but wb's kind of telling them not to because the sales are just atrocious but maybe that changes by the time we reach the pro comp season 2 date i doubt it but christmas miracles maybe if we all buy this game 20,000 times uh <laughs> They'll be incentivized to keep promoting it and supporting it. Or maybe they'll just take our money and give us MK13. But guys, that's all I got for y'all today. What do you think of this response we got from Netherum Studios, which I think is indirectly them telling us like, Hey, we're still here. Don't believe everything you read. I think Fate Unknown is 100% always. Don't think the Combat Pack 3 is actually going to come back unless a miracle happens, but... See, we'll see what happens. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, drop a like on it again. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope you guys have a great day with the fam. Eating good. And I'll see you in the next video.